Here's how you can use your IPix dongle within OS X Leopard. You can see I'm running Mac OS X 5.1. I'm using VMware Fusion, so I've got IPix uh, running under XP on the desktop here. You can see I have a dongle license that's activated and running on the XP side on the boot camp. And so I'm now going to load two hemispheres and I'm now going to stitch them together. So this is running uh, within the Leopard environment but of course it's Windows XP Service Pack 2 uh, running under VMware Fusion. So this is how you get around the issue where the current IPix software for Mac doesn't uh, recognize the IPix dongle system. Now this has been recorded in real time so you can see the speed at which it's uh, operating is pretty good. There's no real lag even though I'm using a screen capture system. And you can see there we are, we've got a complete uh, 360. Uh, the old IPix office is down in uh, Tennessee. So I'm now going to save this to the XP side. So this is just going to the desktop. And I'm going to save a QuickTime uh, QTVR. Uh, standard kind of uh, save here. I'm just going to change the, the name. Call it something a bit more meaningful. I think I'll call this a, a demo, since that's what it is. So this is going on to the XP side. So I'm saving at the moment from IPix Interactive Studio to the My Documents folder on my bootcamp partition. Once that's uh, done, there we are, that's it finished. So I'm now going to go and have a little look at the file that I've saved. So this is My Documents folder. Again, just to remind you, this is uh, the XP partition on bootcamp. So I'm going to start up the QuickTime movie inside XP again, but of course we're viewing it through VMware Fusion on the Leopard desktop. So here we go. This is a QTVR spherical image, two shots, running on the XP side. So what I'll do now is I'm just going to copy that to my Leopard desktop. And if we now switch that out of the way. We'll go and drag it from the desktop. There it is. So I'm now looking at it inside OS 10 Leopard. So this is QuickTime for OS 10. And as you can see, everything works fine. The dongle system is now working on the IPix side. So now you can stitch using IPix Interactive Studio inside OS 10 Leopard.